As a garden designer, I've learned to appreciate the power of big, bold flowers and a flower border, and that's exactly what we have here. Just look at these dahlias. Aren't they spectacular? The color is so rich. But more than that, it's the shape and form, the boldness of the flower itself, that serves as a contrast to other flowers here in this border. Just take, for instance, the dahlia as compared to its companion here, this beautiful achillea. Its common name is yarrow, and you can see that the color resonates beautifully with the color of these dahlias. Other flowers in this border in the same color family include daylilies and black-eyed Susans. So you can kind of see what I'm saying. This contrast of bloom shape sets up visual interest in a flower border. And it doesn't matter if it's a flower bed of this size or even a container, the same principle works. Now, dahlias are very good value. They're grown from a tuber, and there are lots of different varieties, both in terms of the shape of the flower and the size of the plant. Let's take size of plant, for instance. You can start with the lowest dwarf varieties that will grow up to about a foot to 18 inches tall, all the way up to some of these big dinner plate dahlias like this that can, well, these are well over four feet, but some can get up to six and seven feet, depending on where you live. Let's go back to flower shape for just a moment. There is a wide range of them, from shaggy cactus-like blooms to these much more compact pom-poms. Now, take this garden, for instance. The theme here is clearly white. Look at all of these big drifts of white dahlias that punctuate the four quadrants of this space. Some of the companion plants to the dahlias include lamb's ear, a shaggy shasta daisy, as well as this beautiful statuesque phlox called David. Now, we've certainly seen how beautiful dahlias can be out in the garden, but they're equally spectacular inside. They make a great cut flower. So bring a touch of the garden indoors with this beautiful summer favorite. You'll be glad you did. It's always exciting to me when the dahlias begin to bloom in my garden. This particular type of dahlia is one that, well, is considered a dwarf because it's under 30 inches or so high. And I love its dark, almost red foliage. And just look at these bright red to magenta flowers. You can see as the buds begin to open, they're really dark red like this. And then as they fade, they become lighter until they totally fade away like this. And this is when you want to come in and just deadhead them off like that. You see, by taking the spent blooms away, the plant is programmed to produce more and more buds. This little guy will bloom throughout the entire summer into the fall. It'll really show out in the fall when temperatures cool off right up until the first hard freeze. If you really start to get into dahlias, you'll find that, well, they come in all kinds of flower shapes and colors. I mean, they're really kaleidoscopic when it comes to color. And what's fun about these dwarf varieties is that they're excellent for growing in containers. Now, if you wanna grow dahlias, whether it's in a container or in the garden, they love full, hot sun. You wanna make sure they're planted in a well-drained soil and that they get consistent moisture. They can go through some periods of dryness because they have a tuber. They grow from a, a big root, and actually the root is edible, but they grow from this tuber, which can store moisture, but it's really better if you wanna keep lots of blooms going like this. You just wanna make sure that the soil stays consistently moist and they have moisture available to them all the time to continue to have this kind of bloom set. Now talk about bloom set. Come on up here, I wanna show you another variety. Now this variety of dahlia is just coming into flower. It's one called Classic Poem. And I like it because it's, well, the color's beautiful. And I love the simple, subtle flower and these purplish stems. So this is a mid-range size with a small flower. But in this grouping, I have planted seven tubers and they have continually come back over the last couple of years. They're very satisfying to cut and put a single bloom in a vase in the windowsill. They last a long time. The beauty of dahlias is if you live in a warmer part of the country, they'll come back year after year. You see, if it gets really cold where you live, you'll have to dig them up and bring them in and replant them each spring. But in my zone seven garden, I leave them in the ground, I mulch them heavily in the fall after I cut them back, and they come back every year. Give dahlias a try, you'll love them.
I love dahlias in my garden. They're so spectacular. And what a range of bloom and size of plant you can get in this glorious summer flowering bulb. They will grow from 15 inches to, well, almost six feet tall, depending on the varieties that you choose. And what's wonderful about them is that they'll bloom through the summer, but they really throw off a, a big show late in the season. Now, this is an old variety called the Bishop of Langdaff. Um, it's uh, named for a Welsh bishop. It was uh, developed in the 1930s, uh, but still very popular today because of its really deep red bloom and its deep sort of burgundy bronze foliage, which makes it a very handsome garden plant. Now, when you plant dahlias, you want to make sure that you give them a good deep soaking about once a week. You see, they grow from tubers. And when you fertilize dahlias to keep lots of beautiful blooms going, you don't want to fertilize with too much nitrogen because that will make the stems weak and it will cut down on your flower production. Rather, use a fertilizer that has more phosphorus in it. That'll make sure that you get lots of those big, beautiful blooms. Another way to keep them blooming is just to cut off any of the blooms that have already finished up. Just snip them off and this will encourage more flowering. There's nothing wrong with that. 